going to talk about Corvette spindles. Uh, we have built a new set of billet modular uh, Track 1 spindles for the C5 and C6 Corvette. Those cor that series of Corvette was built from 1998 to 2004. So the first thing we did was to raise the bearing hub up on the spindle upright to effectively lower the car one inch without destroying the geometry that's built into that Corvette suspension. If you lower a car uh, without using a drop spindle, the geometry is compromised. Uh, it doesn't handle as good as it could. It'll still drive okay on the street, but the real race car guys know that, that uh, they need to keep that stock intended Corvette ride height. So by using a higher bearing position on the spindle, we don't compromise that geometry. Uh, we made it modular, so for the, for the guys that are using Corvette-style suspension components in an aftermarket chassis, we can customize nearly any feature of this. We can make the ball joint taller, we can make it shorter a little bit, we can change the angle of the steering arm to fit whatever chassis that, that you want to uh, use it on. Uh, we bolt all this stuff together with extreme duty ARP fasteners all the way through. Uh, a few other little design features. You'll see this little area right here, this little flat spot right here. For the race car guys, this is really cool because this is what we call a caster pad. You can lay a digital angle finder on there and directly read your caster because this angle right here is parallel to the ball joint center lines. Um, we use low friction how ball joints. They move nice and easy, no friction in your suspension, unlike the regular ball joints, which are really stiff. It's, it's a small thing, but it's really important on a real race car. The spindle itself is made out of 70-75 T6 aluminum. Uh, stronger than chrome moly, lighter than chrome moly, much stronger than 60-61 T6. Uh, we've had very good luck with this. We've run these spindles at 100 and upwards of 170 mile an hour at Daytona just a couple of weeks ago. So we know this spindle is strong. Another design feature uh, is that all of our spindles are compatible with the stock brake setups, including the rear parking brake on the C5 and C6. You'll see on this spindle, we do not include the bearing hub as a standard, standard feature because if you're a Corvette guy, you may have bearing hubs already. There's no use to buy another set. For the guys that don't have bearing hubs, we use the C7 bearing hub because we found it to be stronger and more durable than the C5 and C6 stuff, unless you pay $460 a pair for the SKF race car, race car stuff. This bearing hub we've used on lots of different applications, heavy cars, light cars, works really good. It's an option. Uh, it also comes, our bearing hubs come with uh, ARP half inch long studs uh, for the guys that you know, have, to, have to have the studs sticking through the, uh, the lug nuts. One last feature we've built into this spindle, we have moved the upper ball joint outboard by about a quarter inch. What that does is for the, the race car guys that want to see extreme camber settings for their cars, they can achieve that now. Before it was always a struggle. For the street car guys, or with a custom chassis, if you don't want that much camber, we offer this off optional shim with longer fasteners. You just stick that in there, bolt it all together, and you got the exact stock ball joint location. But for the race car guys that want to see extra camber, this is a really cool way to do it.